Um, the sketchbook that I had my uh, pictures of my pin pillows on, that, that's here, but hang on, sorry. Just getting a drink. I'm obsessed with getting a drink. Right, that was part of a module when I was studying that didn't really interest me. The end outcomes didn't interest me because the end outcome was to design a range of greetings cards and stationery and that wasn't, it's not me, you know it's not me. And it really didn't grab me. So aside from the artwork sketchbook, we had to have another backup little book that was just looking at greetings cards and paper products and stuff. So that's what this one's all about. A little colour study down here. Um, and it's just collections of gift tags and wrapping paper, looking at current markets and what you know what people used in terms of swing tags for goods and what the designs were like and what the styles were like. Um, pottery here, packaging boxes and stuff. Um, more tags and labels, looking at labels and collecting bits of information. Um, buttons to go on, on packaging and colours and patterns to go on packaging and wrapping up boxes with ribbon and stuff. Um, a little tag up there. Um, a bag here. You know, wrapping paper ideas over here. It really didn't, I mean I love all this stuff but in terms of designing it, it's just not me. I just don't get that spark with it. I don't get that. You need to click with something and I didn't really click with this. So, you know, this is just that. And this is more wrapping paper. Um, more stationary ideas. So we had to collect all this and present evidence that we collected it. So that's what this little book's all about. It's my evidence all in this, this book. Like, thank you cards and a birthday card. Just to show that you're aware of what's out there in the market. The subject of this interested me. I went for domesticity, obviously. I bet that's not a big surprise to you. So here I'm looking at tea towel patterns and colours off tea towels. You know kitchen cloths. If I turn that one that way, you'll see that they're hanging kitchen cloths. And this is all just me making the page look a bit better. Um, I really, I'm thinking about it now when I'm talking about it. And my heart so wasn't in it. I was just doodling for doodling's sake, just to get ticks in boxes. Um, here, buttons, drawing and painting buttons, and then a bit of circular collage. I mean, it's really not that brilliant, I don't think. Um, I quite like this down here. It's like a collage and painting, a folded cloth. That does something for me. So you can tell even from me saying that, that packaging and greetings cards and stationery isn't my thing. Um, because I'm more excited about the thing I've drawn down here that's to do with pleated cloth. So that tells you a lot about me. And that's the page the pin pillows were on. These are like little silk labels. Quite a few people have got these. Because in my classes I've seen quite a few people have these. I got these from a vintage textile fair. And I painted them. That excited me. Old haberdashery. Vintage haberdashery. Painting that. You know, that kind of thing excites me. And then here... Just looking at more patterns actually from these things here. Sorry. Just like this flower here, taking that and enlarging it and extending the flowers off the other one. I mean I'm really some pages of this excite me more than others. I like this one. This is antique needlework tools. In fact, I've still got them. I'll just nip and get them. They're just behind me over here. Um, well I've got some of them to hand anyway. Steel knitting pins, that's a little packet I got from a vintage thing. Tiny little vintage packets of sewing needles. So I've had these obviously since I did this um, and I got them before I did this. So that was me replicating them, painting them and doodling them. And then more antique haberdashery. I've got this actually. It's like a, a whitening thing, a French whitening thing to get your whites bright. And I haven't used it, I only got it because I like the packaging. And it is old, I'm not sure how old it is, but it is definitely old. I bought it from a vintage textile fair. Um, a card of vintage buttons, a card of vintage thread, some vintage bias binding. So, you know, that was me. Um, copying those after a fashion in paint. This one, another card of buttons um, and a little tiny sample of fabric that was mounted on a card that I still have. I haven't got that here, I can't get it. 
I'm just painting that. And then these are antique transfers. I sorry, iron-on transfers. I've ironed onto the page here. You can see them here. But then I've actually tried to stitch through them. Now, if you think about those iron-on transfers, they're quite thin. So that was a task in itself. And I wouldn't say that's the best bit of embroidery I've ever done. But because it's in that almost like tissue-like paper, I'm quite pleased that I managed to do even that little bit just to enhance that page. And then we get on to the greetings card bit that we had to do. So I kind of, I don't know, combining all the elements, some machine stitch, some actual tabs of skeins of thread, and um, painting and stitching through it. And from that, three ideas, the greetings cards, which don't do anything for me. They don't set me alight at all. But it was box ticking. And I did pass this. I think I got quite a good mark considering. Um, so that was the first three. And then another one over here. <coughs> More artwork, collage, painting, stitching in the paper. And another three ideas for greetings cards. They actually look better to me now than they did at the time. But I used to sit near a woman who was amazing at this. She now makes a living designing greetings cards and wallpapers and fabrics on the computer and stuff. So I, you know, I used to look at her work and think, oh God, what's, you know, mine looked terribly, terribly shabby and inadequate in comparison to hers. But then she can't stitch to save her life, you know, so we all have different skills. I'm like, I appreciate that. So those three greetings cards, perhaps, <coughs> from this. Um, and then the final one. This is probably my favourite. This is just painting, a bit of cutaway here, hexagons. Mostly painting, some rip rack on here. I don't think I've stitched on this, so there's a bit of stitching going on around these flowers. Just running stitch. And then those three cards. So that's probably my favourite in terms of the greetings cards uh, that evolved from my work. But my favourite page, I don't know, it's between this one I really like this um, and that one. There's a delicacy about this one that really attracts me. So that's that book. It took the form of two books and probably a lot more work that isn't here because they used to keep our work. We used to make big design sheets, A1 design sheets with drawings on and cutouts on and notes and annotations and things. And I must have had about eight or nine of them for this, and I can't find any of them now. Well, I might have one or two, I'm thinking now. But, you know, the ones they liked, they kept for students that were coming on behind, like the year before and the year before, and year be you know, sorry, the year after, year after, year after. Um, so some poor students probably looking at my pathetic drawing today. Um, but so I don't have a lot from the body of work that was this module. These two are the only solid things I have. I may have a couple of design sheets lying around somewhere um, <coughs> that I'll come across as I'm sorting out this house that I'm trying to put back together. So yeah, so that's that sketchbook. I promised you that I would try and make you a video and there you have it.